Hello, I'm Richard Bowes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk and testing the GoPro 8 today with a wind muffler, a homemade wind muffler, <laughs> uh, which I have bastardized an old pair of socks and a couple of microphone foams which are shoved under the socks. So I'm just testing this out. So the sound may be absolutely atrocious. Got the lovely Julia here. Hello, lovely Richard. Hello, lovely Julia. And down below, the lovely Joseph. Uh, we're going to get going. Because I have to remember, unlike when we normally record anything, we've got a microphone in our hand. And so I can turn the camera around and it will see us, hear us rather. But on this particular occasion, if I turn the camera away from me, or Julia, or it's not close enough, it won't hear us. The reason for this test is really to see if one can use the microphone on board the um, GoPro 8 um, in a very quick and spontaneous way, rather than having to set up the, uh, the normal microphone in the normal way. I'm going to come this side of you so we don't have to... Yeah. So Julia, where are we? We are in Joran. Well, technically, we just left Shoreham Beach, going over the bridge, the footbridge, to Shoreham. Shoreham? Shore, Shoreham. Shoreham. I think I can pronounce it properly, which I can normally. <laughs> yeah. Just stick a camera on you and suddenly... And my brain goes, mmm! Mm, I know, it does, with, it does with me. We come across the bridge now, and we're going to head up towards the church. And I'm embarrassed to say that I don't know what the denomination of the church is in Shoreham, do you? Not a clue. No, uh, but it's just in front of us, so we'll find out. Um, we, we, the sign just round the corner there says that it's uh, St Mary de Hora. Yeah. H A H A H A U A, I think it was. And I'm not sure of the pronunciation of it. No, <laughs> and I, of course I haven't filmed it. What's lovely about this church, sorry Julie, I've just got to go and show everybody this. The flying buttresses are amazing. They are genuine flying buttresses. And uh, I don't know too much about this church, I haven't done any research on it at all. Because... Hey! Half past twelve. Lovely church. It is, it's very beautiful. I've wanted to come here for quite some time. Yes. But I just never get round to it. So thank you for bringing me along. No, well, I think I'll, I'll um, come back on a, on a day when I'm, you know, done the proper research and uh, know something about it. Uh, look at these arches here, which sort of gives you the impression that there must have been a, well, the bit we're in here must have been a building. really interesting the skull and the wings underneath it yeah this this has obviously been well I don't know whether these were in here before these tombs but uh, this is um, the sort of typical thing that you would see on the inside but it's now on the outside and these arches must have been surely on the I'm, on the inside at some point and I'm, this was a separate chapel or something I'm wondering if it was part of whatever that was originally part of it because there's um oh yes there's a great lump of stone a ruin like a wall or something part of the church that may have fallen down mm. that rings a bell need to come back and do my research here and uh have, have a, a look have, see inside a, yeah definitely yeah. so there's a board just in front of the church which reveals that this is the ruined nave that I'm sitting in and the, the wall that Julia just spotted which is behind me is part of the end of the ruined nave which now is no longer here we've just got graves and things there's a an Irish yew behind me and these wonderful tombstones um, and the tower of the church behind us so it's a cruciform church that much I can instantly see Cruciform, I presume, to mean cross-shaped. Cross-shaped, yes. So, Julia, what do you make of this tree? Oh, it's, it's fascinating, isn't it? It's amazing. When they're, when they're um, so um, stripped down 
like this <clears throat> over time and decay you can you see so much detail on how they're formed and often you can see the, the, the almost liquid origins of the tree it's fascinating I'm trying to work out what tree it was I don't think it was an oak because you don't often get oaks but it may well have been but I was thinking initially, oh, it must be an old U, but it's not it really the U shape, is it? It doesn't look very U-like, does no, it? No, because U's are much more um, waxy, waxy and, and like and lava. Swirly. Yes, so maybe it was an oak. Um, I burn a lot of oak in my Essie, and there's bits of it that look oak-like. So perhaps I'm reappraising it, but the poor thing has lived its life. It looks like it had been burnt at some point. Just to remind you, this is purely a test on the GoPro 8 um, to see how easy it is just to use it with click and go, um, so to speak. I'm just adjusting my microphone area there. Um, and so this isn't our proper look at Shoreham, but we're giving you just a glimpse as, as we go around because we'll, we'll definitely come back and do some, won't we? Because it's, it's, I don't know why we haven't done it before. There's, there's a lot of old buildings here and a lot of old lanes as well, like this one in particular. Yeah, yeah, and the, the, I mean the, the architecture here is just delightful. Yeah, it's so uniform, all those, all those flints are really uniform. Yes, there must be, um, there must be a book about Shoreham has to, be. to go and read so that we can um, study it in more. It's interesting how busy as well it was down on the seafront, but up here on a, quite a busy Sunday as the chimes, it's um, quite empty. Oh. And the church behind us. It was so lovely to hear. Yeah. Cottage, church yes. cottage, all boarded up, unfortunately. But isn't this exquisite? It's just so, so beautiful. Oh, and it's, oh, it is, it is lived in. I looked in the window there. It is actually lived in. It's just taking pictures of your lovely cottage. It's very beautiful. We're just admiring all the different trees in the graveyard here. What have we seen, Julia? We've seen beech, we've seen holm oak, we have seen, I think we've seen an oak. Um, I think those are poplars. And this one in front of us, I think, is um, a red oak. Is it a red oak? Yeah. I'm just trying to get the, uh, I think that's uh, either Spanish one. Yeah. The red oak or Canadian, whatever it is. Um, and what is this weird one here? This is a nice one. I've seen this before, but I can't, cannot. It's ornamental of some sort. Yeah, look at that. You can imagine this has got one in leaves, full of leaves all around here, and you can clamber underneath it. This bit is on the opposite side of the bit at the beginning when we first arrived, and we said we thought it was part of a ruined part of the church. Turns out this must be part of the original nave and again we've got these great big arches up here which would have been open and have gone into the church no doubt but at, uh, whenever it collapsed um, or fell into disrepair they've obviously filled it up with um, flint and rubble going to come back and do it properly This yeah. is the wall. This is the ruined wall because there's um, remains of it attached to the church still. Oh yes. And then there's this mound that goes along and across, you know, under the path. Yes. And over there. Shows you how long we've been here filming. <laughs> there's lots to see. Absolutely. You just stepped inside. I am overawed with this. We're coming back. This is just a teaser, mm -hmm. just a teaser. I'm gonna walk down to the altar 
and just have a look at the amazing craftsmanship. And this was done so long ago. Up to 900 years or so. Let's have a look down here. And here's the organ. Coming away from the church, that's the end of this video where we've just tested out the GoPro and what a wonderful uh, bit of landscape, heritage and nature to try it out on. Yeah. Hopefully you've been able to hear everything um, and the wind hasn't blighted it. We've got the book from the church now. And Details to get hold of the Reverend. Yeah, so we will come back and do a pucker video. But that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Hope it's been of interest. Just grab, go through these people here. And um, take care, everyone. Then. Take care. Yeah, don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe, all the usual things. Give us a thumbs up. And we're going for a cup of coffee. I need it. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>